stay healthy and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Thank you for joining us on today's show. My name is Basu Shikin Awazioma and today we'll be talking about the global pandemic coronavirus which is known as the COVID-19 and today guess who we have? We have a very interesting guest in the studio and she will be enlightening us on the signs, the symptoms and the prevention of how to go on this COVID-19. Please stay so we'll be right back. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new coronavirus introduced to humans for the first time. It is spread from person to person, mainly through the droplets produced when an infected person speaks, coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby. These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air. They only travel approximately one metre and quickly settle on surfaces. This is the reason person-to-person -person spread is happening mainly between close contacts. The exact time that the virus can survive on surfaces is not yet known. So it is wise to clean surfaces regularly, particularly in the vicinity of people infected with COVID-19. Hands touch many surfaces, which can be contaminated with the virus. You should therefore avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth, since contaminated hands can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with the bend of your elbow or use a disposable tissue. If a tissue is used, discard it immediately into a closed bin. The most effective way to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus is to clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. This will eliminate the virus if it is on your hands. Stay healthy and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Welcome back to the show. Here we have a special guest, Nurse Vivian. Thank you for joining us on the show today. Can you please enlighten us and the audience about this all deadly coronavirus that has been going around the world? Okay, um, first of all, we all know that COVID-19, it's a new deadly virus mm -hmm. that has been um, generally all over the world and everywhere, which has been causing um, probably the highest mortality rate so far in the early 20s. And its origin was from um, China or Wuhan, a food market actually. And um, ever since then, it has been spreading to various parts of the world. So that's basically it. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. So, please can you enlighten us and the audience on the signs and symptoms? Which oh. Okay, okay, us. basically, um, I believe Almost everywhere and everybody now are aware of the signs and symptoms, but just to clear the air for clarity's sake, we first have shortness of breath, low grade fever that at a certain level begins to shoot up around 38 degree point. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then we have fatigue, mm -hmm. muscle ache, chronic body pain your joints pain, just total body malaise generally. And then recently we discovered that most of the clients that um, walk into the clinic um, for COVID-19 screening, they usually complain of loss of sense of smell and taste. So that is another remarkable signs and symptoms. Okay, so that's basically it. And I would suggest if um, any or if whosoever it is should experience these very symptoms, it's advisable that they first isolate themselves mm -hmm. from their loved ones and whosoever it is that they might come in contact with and then immediately contact NCDC for proper investigation and probably an isolation. So mm -hmm. that is it. Thank you very much. So please, according to the WHO World Health Organization, there have not been any cure or um, vaccine being used or being found to date. So what have you people been using to keep your patients alive and that? Okay, so um, based on the research that has been going on so far, there hasn't been no, a cure, neither has there been a vaccine, mm -hmm. but we've taken certain measures to keep our patients alive, such as, um, first of all, you need your immune system to be really on point, you get. So whenever you have a client that is immunosuppressed, it's really, really unfortunate that the condition might become very severe with them. But we, first of all, try to um, boost their immune system. So vitamin C is a very good option. Mm -hmm. Then we give them um, um, hydrochloroquine. That is another one. And we give them azithromycin. Now, it doesn't just end there. Now, there are certain clients or there are certain patients that 
walk into um, the isolation center where these treatments have been carried out with COVID-19 and other pre-existing disease conditions. So we begin to treat them according to whatever symptoms they are presenting. So it could be shortness of breath. We use a ventilator or an oxygen mask. It could be they are diabetic. We treat the diabetic um, issues. Yeah, you get so it, they could be hypertensive. We focus on treating the hypertension as well as the COVID nineteen itself. So what the COVID nineteen actually does is that if you contract it and you have other pre existing um, health concerns, mm -hmm. it worsens it. You get so most of the times our patients are usually cured. You get after a series of um, medications, they are usually cured, but the issues is that that very condition, either they have they're hypertensive or they are diabetic, they begin to they begin to come down with that on a regular basis. So that's why we continue to treat and treat and treat. So that's actually why the mortality rate is high. Very really appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we're going into you. Uh, medical and uh, practitioners. How come are you people able to um, control not being infected in the process? Okay, well, that's really a huge one. Okay, okay. First of all, when you visit various hospitals around, um, because of the whole pandemic and all, mm -hmm. first of all, when you get to the gates, there's a screening point there. The temperature is checked. You get, and if it's anything above that seven point two. Then you have to be kept outside because then if you answer some um, very various health screening questions to know maybe if you have any travel history or any of the symptoms involved and if you present with at least seven or six out of ten mm -hmm. then we f begin we actually see a need for you to be referred to the isolation center now when you get to the isolation center there are certain protective measures that we use in order to um, keep ourselves safe as well. So it's called um, protective PPE, personal protective equipment. There is, it's basically not much. All we just put on is our gloves, try to double it, our goggles or a face shield, our face masks, our head covers, our surgical gowns, our boots. Okay, so, and there are certain um, training you undergo. Not just anyone can work in an isolation center. There are certain changes that you have to undergo in order to know how to take care of those patients, that's one, and how to don and doff your um, your PPE. Because you can't just, I mean, start pulling out your gloves like that. You might end up infecting yourself. So that is one. And another thing is, again, is while treating, while um, mm -hmm. we are taking care of those patients with COVID-19, we try as much as we can to make sure our immune system is on point. So we take supplements, we take immune boosters, that is one, and then there are, um, we call it a red and a blue station. So when you you don't make contact with someone in the red station, if you're in the blue station, you get So I don't know how to really explain this thing to you, but you just necessarily have to be there for you to understand it. Yeah. Okay. I tend to understand that the older one tend to get this disease faster than the younger okay. one. So is there any way you people treat them differently or what do you people do? What do you give them? Like you said, you said you give them the most of the vitamin C's, but the young, the older one to tend to die fast, like I had, I'm not okay. really sure, but I had the older one die faster than the younger one. So what do you people do in this stage? Because there is already a pre-existing disease condition, mm. that's why they die faster than the older, yeah, than the younger, younger ones. ones. Okay. And even the younger ones, if you have any younger um, an adult whatsoever, mm -hmm. if he or she also has um, mm -hmm. any terminal or pre-existing health condition, mm -hmm. they stand the chance of losing their life as wow. well. Wow. Okay. So what we try as much as we can is, like I said, boost their immunity, mm -hmm. yeah. then treat based on the symptoms, and then, um, okay, for example, let's assume a patient that is diabetic, for example, a diabetic. We give um, certain diabetic medications 
we make sure that if there is an injury or something, we do the cleaning and all that. We just make sure that we um, ensure asepsis, aseptic techniques. So that's just basically. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I've really learned a lot too. I'm sure my audience could have <laughs> learned a lot doing this. This is just the basics. Like, like, I'm really just getting to learn new things today. And I'm sure my audience really did. And I really appreciate Aww. you coming. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so, so, so much. Yeah. Thank you for sparing your time. I'm sure you had so many things, but today you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I should be here because this is something that has been costing the life of so many I of really our so. Thank you so you very so much. much. It's no go more than this on today's episode. Please don't forget to join me on the next interesting program coming your way. I will be bringing a very wonderful guest. And please remember this. Health is what Keep safe. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on today's show. Thank you for joining me on the Take two. Who's oh, sleeping? Shh. Look at this one straight. Which is known as, which is known as natural. Who will be special oh, guest in this studio? Oh, Who will be? Thank you for joining me on today's show. Okay, <laughs> let's take it again. Okay. Hey, calm down. I didn't look at you. You look All right. Uh, thank you for joining us on today's yeah. show. On the low part. I'll put a smile on that face. Take it off. Thank you for joining us on today's show. My name is Basu Shikina. You are rushing it. Oh, you guys are still oh, going around. No, 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 no. You talk at your own convenient pace. 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 Okay. And you don't have to look at the uh, camera. Just. Yes. Alright. Welcome back. After we come back. Yes. Welcome back. Here we have a special guest. Welcome back. Here we have a special guest.